हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज डॉक्टर विशाल सांकला जूनियर रेजिडेंट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियोलॉजी एट गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज कोटा माय पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन टॉपिक इज अ क्रॉस सेक्शन स्टडी ऑन स्पेस ऑक्यूपाइंग लीजन ऑफ लीवर एम्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव द एम ऑफ द स्टडी इज टू डिटरमाइन द इटियोलॉजी ऑफ स्पेस ऑक्यूपाइंग लीजन ऑफ लीवर एंड दियर क्लिनिकल प्रेजेंटेशन and to evaluate the usefulness of ultrasound and computed tomography in the detection and characterization of focal liver lesion introduction liver is a common site for space occupying lesion which can be developmental infective or neoplastic in most region of the world liver abscess and secondary metastasis are more common lesion compared to the primary liver masses hydatid cyst may be a common presentation in some endemic region ultrasound is proved to be the most important diagnostic and therapeutic tool in the field of liver space occupying lesion ct is considered as the important imaging due to its high sensitivity and specificity compared to ultrasound materials and method the study design was cross sectional duration was around 3 month and source of data was from tertiary care hospital government medical college kota the sample size was 40 cases we have include the patient above 18 year of age which were either symptomatic clinically suspected or asymptomatic incidental finding the patient who were not giving consent to be a part of the study were excluded from the study the first image shows large ill defined hypoechoic lesion with moving internal echo in segment 5 of right lobe of liver suggestive of liver abscess the second image shows multiple well defined hypoechoic lesion with peripheral halo in right lobe of liver suggestive of secondary liver metastasis it is a diagnosed case of gb carcinoma which present with secondary liver mats this case shows well defined rounded heterogeneous hyperechoic lesion with internal vascularity in right lobe of liver on correlation with triple phase contrast ct it is suggestive of hepatocellular carcinoma the first image shows well defined fluid density lesion with internal septation and few focal area of calcification in right lobe of liver suggestive of hydatid cyst the second and third image shows multi loculated ill defined hypodense cystic lesion with peripheral enhancement in right lobe of liver suggestive of liver abscess for which drainage tube inserted as seen in figure 3c This case shows multiple small well defined hypodense lesion which shows slight peripheral hyperattenuation on arterial phase 4b and slow washout on delayed phase 4c in a patient which is known case of gb carcinoma these lesion are suggestive of secondary liver metastasis the figure 4d shows well defined hypodense cystic lesion in sixth segment of right lobe of liver suggestive of simple liver cyst This case shows multiple ill-defined heterogeneous hypodense mass lesion in left lobe of liver, which shows hyper enhancement on arterial phase. Portal phase show early washout and portal vein thrombosis. Above finding suggestive of hepatocellular carcinoma. The demographic observation was around fifty-seven percent. male was included in the study while the female proportion was around 42% around 60% patient was having a age group of 18 to 50 years while 40% patient was more than 50 years of age for 62% of patient we have used ct as the imaging modality for 25% of patient we have used ultrasound as the imaging modality and the rest 12% we have used the combination of ct and usg for diagnosing these patients the result for as follow the liver abscess was around 32% the secondary metastasis was around 27% liver hydatid cyst was around 17% simple liver cyst was around 10% benign liver space occupying lesion was around 7.5% and primary hepatocellular carcinoma was around 5% in this present study liver abscess was the most common space occupying lesion followed by the liver metastasis because we work in a tertiary care facility where majority of the patient were being referred from the surgical opd 
so the mean age of presentation of liver abscess and hydatid cyst was around 45 years liver abscess were more common in male population while benign space occupying lesion like adenoma and hemangioma were more common in female population with a ratio of 1 to 1.6 majority of the patient with metastasis present at the age group of 65 years in case of secondary liver metastasis gb mass was the most common primary followed by lung mass secondary liver metastasis show equal predominance in both gender male to female ratio is 1 so whenever we found lung mass or gb mass triple phase contrast ct is advised in every case to rule out the secondary liver mass in our present study hepatocellular carcinoma has a prevalence of around 5% we have diagnosed two case of hepatocellular carcinoma out of 40 and both of the cases were having portal vein thrombus along with the mass so the discussion is definitive diagnosis of space occupying lesion of liver is done by ultrasound and ct ct is considered to be the preferred modality due to its high sensitivity and specificity liver biopsy is gold standard for diagnosis of neoplastic lesion but it is unnecessary if adequate lab and imaging data is available the triple phase ct is a standardized procedure to characterize the vast majority of focal liver lesion in case of liver abscess if large then ultrasound may be used as therapeutic tool and guided aspiration should be done for early volume reduction and lesser hospital stay ultrasound is less sensitive and specific compared to ct scan for detecting and specifying liver space occupying lesion thus ultrasound should be used only as a screening tool for liver space occupying lesion these were my references thank you